Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you guys how I use PayPal credit to pay for my purchases over time rather than all at once. Here's my PayPal credit account and as you can see my current balance is $1,291.92. My total credit line is $7,600. I still have $6,308 left in use for my available credit, however, I don't have anything to buy at this moment, but I will talk about things that I have bought in the past using PayPal credit. Now if we look at my purchases here, I did buy plane tickets from Southwest. So I purchased plane tickets or $509.96. The purchase date was October 19th, 2023. However, because I used PayPal credit to pay for these plane tickets, I didn't have to pay the $509.96 all at once. I actually used PayPal credit to split up my payments so that I could pay it over time rather than all at once. This is very helpful because if you have to pay a big payment all at once, that could put a strain on your finances. Not everyone has a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars just lying around to pay for a purchase all at once. People have bills to pay. They have to pay their mortgage or rent, electricity, internet, water, gas, all of these different types of expenses that you have to pay every month. You might not have a thousand dollars laying around for a big purchase. That's when it's a good idea to use PayPal credit so that you can split it up into smaller payments and pay it over time rather than all at once. So in this example, instead of paying $509.96 on October 19th, 2023, I split it up so that I paid it over time across six months rather than the full amount all at once. And as you can see here, it says, pay the remaining balance in full by May 3rd, 2024 to avoid paying the accrued interest on this purchase. So as long as I paid the full amount before May 3rd, 2024, I don't pay any interest, zero interest. So the way I see it, it's essentially a six month, zero interest loan. As you can see here, where it says current accrued interest, I have zero dollars in accrued interest. If I click this question mark right here, it'll explain the current accrued interest is the amount of interest that has accumulated to date on this purchase. Interest accrues from the purchase date until the date the six month promo period expires. If you pay off this purchase in full before the date the six month promo period expires, you'll avoid paying the accrued interest on this purchase. If you don't pay off this purchase in full before the date the six month promo period expires, the interest accrued on this purchase will be charged to your account and any remaining balance will be treated as a standard purchase. So as you can see, the rules state that as long as I pay it in full before the six month period, I don't pay any interest, zero interest. Let me show you guys another purchase I made using PayPal credit. As you can see, I purchased something on eBay. The purchase amount was $1,291.92. The purchase date was February 21st, 2024. And as you can see, it says pay the remaining balance in full by September 3rd, 2024 to avoid paying the accrued interest on this purchase. Now, the accrued interest currently is $20.86. However, as long as I pay off the full amount before September 3rd, 2024, I won't have to pay any money in interest. Because I use PayPal credit to make this purchase, I don't have to pay $1,291.92 at the time of purchase. I can spread out that amount throughout six months. Paying $1,300 over six months is much easier to handle than paying $1,300 all at once. This is why I use PayPal credit. 
And if you watch other videos on my channel, you'll know that I invest in stocks. So I use PayPal credit to add money to my portfolio. For example, since this costs $1,300 and I use PayPal credit, I don't have to put $1,300 towards this purchase. I can use that $1,300 and use it to invest in stocks instead. I don't have to spend $1,300 to pay for this purchase all at once. I could instead take this $1,300 invest in stocks and make a return from it. And if I make any kind of return, that means I actually end up saving money on the total purchase. For example, if I buy something for $1,300, but I instead invest that money and make a 10% return, the way I see it, I just save 10% on the total purchase price. For example, if we assume that I invest this $1,300 and make a 10% return over the six month payment period, that means I made $129. This is one way that I am able to add money to my portfolio, invest it, and make a return from it because I use PayPal credit to spread out the payments over time rather than having to pay the full amount all at once. By using PayPal credit and investing the money rather than paying the full amount all at once, I'm able to save a lot of money in the long run. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Please give this video a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Thank you. Bye.